Welcome back to Let's Play Abzu. I'm Burning Dog Face. And my lozenge wrapper says, get back in there, champ. Well, it's hard to get much more in there than this. So I think I'm doing a good job of that. Got this one already. That's yes, good. Before I grabbed onto that sunfish and got all turned around, I thought I saw another one somewhere. Don't be afraid, little guy. Oh, all right. I'll leave you alone. I wonder why it's orange. Oh, the chain... Oh, there he is. Little octopus friend. We'll just admire him from a distance. I must have just seen the one I already got. Just a moment, folks. Sorry about that. Ooh. You're one of those guys I set free at the end of the last episode. I don't think you look much like an eagle, though. Manatees! Or maybe dugongs, I can never tell the difference. Manatee! <laughs> Is that these guys making these noises? I thought they were cute enough. I didn't know they sounded like squeaky toys. Why are they covered in moss? Oops. I have brought doom to us all! Does it make a lick of sense? Why would you call them a zebra shark if they're spotted? You ever seen a zebra with spots? And don't answer that question. Maybe there is one. I'm just looking like an idiot right now. What in the hell is that? It's like telling a story by implication. There's something up there. What is that, an orbit? Some kind of space station that fell apart? Is this an abandoned planet I'm bringing back to life? And they're tying it in with the uh, creation myth?
Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, it's decidedly different from the males. Ah, it's so bright. Oh, they have sharp teeth. Uh, uh, that's, it looks like they're just making d derp noises when they open their mouths like that. Not so much the females. That is like a, I mean, fish do that. What's this little fellow here? Oh, following the wrong one. Juvenile Golden Trevally. Neat. Well, they're exactly the same color as the uh, kelp growing here. Now wish to hug one more than ever, more than ever. And of course, I wouldn't disturb one. They have, they have more trouble than they deserve. People always hitting them with boats and cutting them up. Poor deers. I don't even have like, look at the big floppy tails that don't look built for speed or anything. Sucker for cute things. I'm going to go ahead and guess that's where I'm going. Before looking to throwing myself down the well. Scalloped hammerhead. That hammerhead sharks are the coolest thing ever when I was a very little kid. Oh, it's a shell. Oh! Nautilus! Sizz. I knew they weren't that big. Of all the fish in the sea, I wonder why Jules Verne named the submarine after these. Always got to give that book major props. The guy predicted the submarine a century before they were built. Well, some amount of time, anyway. It's kind of peaceful down here. Best not to spend your time sleeping in a well. I do like the expression I the what do I call it? What's the opposite of expressionless? Expressful. No. Whatever it'll come to me. Expressive. Yes. It's 
really interesting. None of these fish have any interest in eating me at all. Hey guys. I wonder if there are blue whales in this game. The biggest animal in recorded history. How do I open the door? It has to do with this chain, doesn't it? Okay, let's follow the chain. there be a big switch I'm just missing. I'm just following this chain for no reason. Like a dumbass. No! It does lead to something. Duck that thing must have been. That's pretty good. Well, let me guess. Okay, the other one must lead somewhere too. Twist ending, the game ends in Realech, and you uh, wake Cthulhu from his slumber. I think that's how you say Realech. It's kind of hard to tell when there are no. You know, when it's in a horrible alien tongue. Could be Riley for all I know. Like a girl's name. This is a normal game. I might think this is a an ambush room. Finally, get into that boss fight with the shark. I wonder what these lights are. Pretty. was a sneeze. Sorry about it. Uh, that. Dang, I was hoping I could hold L and grab onto the chain. I guess I have headed down as far as I can. I wonder what this place looked like when it was functional. Before the water is game. There's a hammerhead. I was hoping I'd get to see one of you guys before I had to leave. Got you! I understand their heads are shaped like that serve as a sort of radar dish for an extra sense they have to locate prey.
Sharks are weird, man. I'm told they have a unique sense that lets them detect uh, electrical activity, which they use to uh, sense the hearts of their prey beating. more locational tracking. And that's crazy shit. Look at all those sunfish just there. There's like five of them in a pile. Time to say goodbye. Bye, my large friend. Take it easy and watch out for motorboats. More than anything, those noises remind me of uh, <laughs> that one frog that became really popular. I guess it sounds exactly like a squeaky toy when it gets mad. Lionfish. Don't touch these, kids. Seriously, those spines are poisonous. They'll fuck you up. I mean, I'm trying to swim into one on purpose, but I'm an idiot. Don't do what I do, for God's sake. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Is this it? Is this where we make peace? move the camera at all. It's like a break. Aha! I knew something would be hidden behind that curtain. Even if it was just a, a cool mural on the wall. This game is cool. Apparently several people from Journey did work on this game, but uh, only because they like, went to work for this uh, studio. Journey was all about going across the desert to get to this big pillar of light, but uh, had the sort of message that it's not your destination that matters, it's the journey. So it's all about the things you find and experience, and maybe you'll find some other players, but you can't actually talk to them. You can communicate in, like, 
musical whistles and walk together or leave or completely ignore each other. So uh, sometimes regarded as more of an artful experience than a game. And I can see that, that argument for uh, Abzu, to be honest. Well, let's go say hi. Tank the frame rate in this area. Oh, I have to look down. Neat. Not just the Nautilus here. Ooh, Framerate doesn't like this area either. Didn't swim with any manta rays. I didn't see any in the area around that. I bet they came out of the, uh, well, the Abzu, assuming I know what the Abzu is. I'm on the wrong side this time. Some manner of shark? Whale sharks, perhaps? I think that's what those are. Called it. Look how big they are. And all they eat is, uh, plankton and krill. No remoras on the bottom. I guess they didn't exist until, like, five seconds ago, so I guess that's fair. Seems like a great place to call it. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Abzu. When we head out into the ocean again and look for that last, uh, coral tree to bring life back to the ocean. Later!